Blub's world was a symphony of blues and greens. A lifelong resident of the coral city of Aquapolis, he knew every nook and cranny of the vibrant underwater metropolis. His days were spent weaving through schools of shimmering fish, chasing bioluminescent jellyfish and exploring the ancient, sunken ruins that dotted the ocean floor. Blub had always been curious about the stories whispered by the wise elder eels, tales of a world beyond the endless blue. They spoke of a place called Land, a vast, solid expanse bathed in a fiery orb they called the Sun. It seemed impossible to Blub, a creature who could only breathe underwater. Land sounded harsh, dry, and utterly devoid of the comforting embrace of water. One day, while exploring a particularly intriguing shipwreck, Blub stumbled upon a strange object. It was smooth and metallic, unlike anything he had ever seen. He nudged it tentatively, and it emitted a strange, warbling sound. Suddenly, the world around him shimmered and dissolved. Blub gasped, his gills constricting in panic. He found himself sprawled on a strange, soft surface. He tried to swim, but there was no water, only the terrifying sensation of dryness. He thrashed around, his heart pounding, until a calming voice cut through his fear. Woe there, little fella. Don't you worry, you're safe here. Blub looked up to see a creature unlike any he had ever encountered. It had two legs and two arms, its skin covered in a strange, fleshy material. Its face held two large, curious eyes. Who, who are you? Blub croaked, his voice raspy from disuse. I'm Maya, the creature said gently. I found you washed up on the beach. You seem like you've been through quite the ordeal. Blub explained his journey, the strange object, and the terrifying world of land. Maya listened patiently, her eyes filled with wonder. This is amazing, she exclaimed. You come from an entire world beneath the waves. We've only ever theorized about the possibility of aquatic life on other planets. Over the next few days, Maya introduced Blub to the wonders of land. He learned about the vast expanse of forests, the towering mountains that scraped the sky, and the strange creatures that roamed its surface. He marveled at the warmth of the sun on his skin, albeit carefully, thanks to Maya's warnings about overexposure, and the taste of strange, sweet fruits. Blub even learned to walk, albeit clumsily, with Maya's help. He discovered that despite its limitations, land held its own beauty, a different kind of wonder compared to his underwater home. Eventually, with the help of scientists who were fascinated by Blub's story and origin, they were able to reverse the device's effects. With a mixture of excitement and trepidation, Blub returned to his watery world, forever changed by his experience. Back in Aquapolis, Blub became a local legend. He shared his stories of land, captivating his fellow Aquapolitans with tales of a world above. He sparked a thirst for knowledge, a desire to understand the vast universe beyond their own watery realm. Blub, the curious explorer, had bridged the gap between two worlds, proving that even the most different environments could hold beauty and wonder, waiting to be discovered.